This is Maya Jones, and I am going to take you through decorating her little cottage in Brindleton Bay for the holidays. So Maya lived in the city her whole life, and she finally was able to buy herself this little college, this little cottage. Um, she is looking forward to spending her first Winterfest here. So the first thing that we have to do is actually make it winter <laughs> and preferably make it snowy. So that's what we're doing here. I went into MC Command Center Cheats and um, changed the season to winter and then changed the weather so that it'll be snowy and freezing for eight hours so maya is very smartly going to go inside <laughs> so that she will not freeze to death we cannot have her dying during her first winter fest in her little cottage so we see the snow is starting to pile up she's gone to bed the snow is piling up while she's sleeping and she is going to wake up in the morning to a winter wonderland and get her house ready to have guests for, you know, food, some drink, um, and just enjoying the holidays in her little cottage. So this is a build that I call uh, Beachside Blissed Out. And there will be a speed build of that on my channel. Um, in the next couple of weeks, I've already done it, already done the speed build and um, done the voiceover and I will be posting that later. So, oh, first we need to uh, have Maya light a fire because we can't have her freezing to death even in her own home. There we go. She's better now. Okay. So the idea here is uh, Maya is just going to decorate her house for the holidays. And this is the first time that I've done a holiday Winterfest type build. So I had a lot of fun actually going through the holiday pack and the, the seasons pack especially. And just finding the Winterfest and Kwanzaa themed decorations to add to her little house so she's setting up her living room so she'll have her Christmas tree you know, a few presents she's she lives by herself she doesn't have a partner she doesn't have kids so there's no room for a huge no no um, reason for a huge stack of presents but you know of course she had to buy some things for herself I mean come on who doesn't buy stuff for themselves for Christmas I'm actually recording this voiceover on Christmas night and one of my gifts to myself actually the main gift for myself is a gaming laptop I bought an Acer Nitro 5 at the beginning of December um, and when I clicked that purchase button um, after having a mild coronary at the price <laughs> in spite of the fact that I had caught a really good sale I did say Merry Christmas to me because yes this this is definitely a Christmas gift for myself <laughs> so I called this build Beachside Winter Holiday and it is up in the gallery you can download it um, my uh, origin ID in the gallery is W the Lotus and the name of this build is Beachside Winter Holidays so I, I think actually I uploaded the build earlier today and I think quite a few people have already downloaded it so um, you know you go ahead and download it for yourself too I didn't come up with the idea until today or I would have done this before and uploaded it so that people could have it as they were planning their holiday parties and stuff. But you know what? Winterfest in The Sims can come at any point in time, regardless of where we are in the real world. So you can download this build anyway and use it anytime for your Winterfest or Christmas or Kwanzaa themed Sims, uh, Sims gameplay. So here I'm going through because there were some very specific decorations I was looking for and I couldn't figure out where they were. I did actually find them later in the um, seasons 
pack and I don't remember what category they were in but I had assumed that those window decorations were there they are right there I had assumed that those decorations were part of the holiday pack but they're not they're actually in seasons so I went in the went in uh, the seasons decorations and I was able to find them so here I'm using um, the nine and the zero keys to move some decorations up and down there aren't actually slots on that window seat for decorations but it was just a perfect spot to have you know some little cards and um, a little garland there you know something holiday ish why have that space there and not put something that has to do with the holiday up there you know so Maya put some of her holiday cards up there. Um, I think those are specifically Christmas themed cards. And then when she does the mantle upstairs, then there are some other cards. I think there's some Kwanzaa themed cards that she has on the mantle upstairs. So it looks like she's pretty much done downstairs. So upstairs, she's got her Kwanzaa cards. She's got some Christmas cards, has a nice fire blazing. And um, she did put a few decorations upstairs so that when she opens her eyes in the morning, she gets a nice eyeful of holiday cheer. This is a cute little loft space. I would definitely live in a space like this myself um, if I was able to. The hole upstairs is her bedroom and um, it, you just come right into the bedroom space by coming up the stairs there's no door there she has a beautiful view out over the water and some more decorations in the window and some fairy lights you know we, we got to make it festive and so here is the final product and she really went all out for um, her first winter fest i mean as much as possible you know she doesn't have much but what she has she was able to uh, make a nice holiday themed place so we're going to uh, take a last look at her place and then let her, you know we're gonna leave her so that she can get dressed for the party have her friends over and enjoy her friends company i hope that you have been able to find ways to enjoy this holiday season as well merry christmas happy new year happy kwanzaa and i will see you in 2021